Well, the ongoing sanctions tit for tat between Moscow and Brussels has already taken its toll on European budgets. The Netherlands could take around one and a half billion euro hit after Russia stopped imports of certain foods. Next in line, Poland, closely followed by Europe's economic powerhouse Germany. Both had been contributing largely to Russia's food market. Well, the imports ban is costing them hundreds of millions of euros, but it's not only the loss of money that's doing the damage. Now, left hanging by the French president is the delivery of Mistral warships to Russia. Should the 1.5 billion euro deal be cancelled, it would see up to 1,000 people lose their jobs, not to mention the compensation Paris would have to cough, cough up. Adding to that, Dutch analysts estimate that 130,000 Europeans could be put out of work because of the sanctions tussle. Peter Oliver reports from Germany. Feeling the pinch of the political tit-for-tat. Sanctions threaten to either kill our business or hamper our future development because we can't operate as usual. The software industry is particularly sensitive to the lack of trust they cause. Sanctions imposed on Russia by the EU are affecting many mid-sized businesses in the Eurozone's largest economy. This software company in Dresden is particularly concerned. Over the past years, many German companies came to the Russian market. It's where a whole load of mid-sized businesses make their profits. And the statistics back that up. Last year, Germany made 36 billion euro doing business with Russia. Around 6,500 companies were involved. When it comes to small and mid-sized businesses, a fifth told Ernest and Young that they had experienced negative impacts from the Ukraine crisis. The knock-on effects of sanctions has forced the respected IFO Institute to rethink forecasts for German growth in the second quarter of 2014. The problem is that these are uncertain financial times. Entrepreneurs are under huge pressure. Sanctions make it all the more hard to start up and to keep going. With Russia denied access to certain areas of German business, Ultimately, the big winner could be Asia, as countries there, particularly China, take up the slack. Peter Oliver, RT, Germany.